Hello and welcome to Aren't You Exhausted? This is a podcast revolving around Goral World? The Goralverse? (laughs) Mostly around Amberlynn and Foodie Beauty. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday and Aren't You Exhausted is now on Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Amazon Music for those who only need the audio content. Now that I've gotten all the self-promotion out of the picture... Let's go ahead and start today's discussion. Here's another conspiracy. Ugh, you guys, it's exhausting. Aren't you exhausted? Anyone to go and have, like, a slew of medical issues? I I don't think this type of speculation is healthy. Speculating someone's health, like, I'm... You guys confused? Imagine how I was feeling. Anyway... Hello and welcome back to another episode of Aren't You Exhausted? This is episode 18 and I'm your host Ashley. I hope everyone had a good turkey day with friends and family and loved ones. Today we're going to be getting into Amber's Black Friday body dysmorphia and I'm going to save Chantal's content for an Saturday because there's a lot to cover and a lot of interesting details that have come about that I kind of want to get into but separate from Amber's stuff. So without further ado let's get into the Amber business. Aren't you exhausted? I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted already and we're not even discussing it yet. (laughs) Let's get into it. So Amber has been steadily uploading to catch up to her schedule for the impending Vlogmas. Uh, This is going to consist of her and Jade opening up gifts every day of December until Christmas. In one of her latest vlogs, Amber and Jade were out and about outside of the apartment. They were doing a little bit of Black Friday shopping. We saw Amber shop her favorite thing to do, whether it for food or useless junk. The first stop was Bath and Body Works for her fix for the festive hand soaps and scent plugins. Then can't go without also getting Jade some bar soaps and room spray. Now all of this in which, mind you, is coming from Bath and Body Works and is highly toxic for Amber's pets. But you guys have to realize she puts it on its lowest setting so it's not that much and her pets are fine you guys. They've been living like this for years. (laughs) Then we were hit with a Marshall's shopping moment. It was brief because of the copyrighted music. Amber still hasn't discovered how to remove from her videos and replace the music with her own royalty-free music yet. Uh, Maybe next year, right? Uh, Who am I kidding? That's never going to happen, and it's always going to be an excuse of why she doesn't share when she goes out more public places. But I guess while in Marshalls, she also had a little moment where she realized how big she was under bright lights and full length mirrors. Go figure. Wow. What has 40 pounds done to our girl? Apparently, that was a triggering moment as it led right into a binge at a Vietnamese restaurant. I only say that because the amount of food that she showed that she ate for that meal looked similar in size to that of the burger meal that she showed during her binge earlier in the week. We then got to see some of the gifts that Amber had wrapped and put into gift bags, which, just out of pure nitpickiness, how many of these Christmas bags that she's been using are recycled? I mean, she could reuse them for the next Christmas because they all look brand new. So I'm assuming she goes out and buys new each time. It just seems like a lot of waste for two grown adults exchanging gifts. Amber constantly gripes in most of her vlogs that her audience just doesn't believe anything she does. She shared a screenshot of her text message to her teledoc for confirmation of the appointment that was canceled because they didn't receive a message in her current vlog. I don't know what flex this was for her or what what point she was trying to prove because it only further condemned her laziness as the initial confirmation was sent at 8 a.m. and Amber didn't respond until after 2. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say 
waiting six hours to respond to a confirmation of appointment 30 minutes before the said appointment was supposed to take place is it's asking a little much like why didn't you just respond at 8 a.m when the text was sent amber oh it's probably because her sleep schedule is uh shit and she was having one of her morning naps she then goes on to say that you guys just want me to lie about everything because it's entertaining at this point oh ma'am get over yourself it's actually the contrary we would love it if you would stop lying especially about stuff we don't really care about i don't care when you see your psychiatrist slash psychologist slash therapist you know as long as they're being seen i don't care but this just further proves how unready she is to commit to anything and how she's just gonna die on that hill of her lies before ever admitting that she's trying to hide facts behind quote-unquote truth-telling that she's going on about she also claims that we the audience will never give her the chance to change her reputation because we just want her to be the liar. I mean, she's been given multiple openings to change that narrative, but she plays on the fact that she thinks that we're dumb. She thinks her audience is dumb to this cycle that she's put herself in. And this new arc is just another go round in that cycle that's well known by most of the people that have been watching her a while. Also, before we move on, I wanted to mention that she gave the channel a shout out a few times using her favorite catchphrase aren't you guys exhausted aren't you exhausted uh i know it's not an official like shout out because she probably doesn't know anything about this channel but i thought it i found it humorous and uh thanks amber for the little shout out um (laughs) also uh i wanted to mention how funny it is that she's back on weight watchers because According to her, it's an easier program to use now and has less zero point food options. She thinks that this is going to keep her from overindulging. Yes, because the Weight Watchers program in the past, even with a load of zero point food options, was the reason it was unsuccessful. Yeah. Amber, it was unsuccessful because it allowed you too much room for you to fit in fast food and that snowballed your binging then she started talking about weight loss surgery with the possible new insurance that will cover it (sighs) you know i want to be hopeful but the the realist in me the cynic in me is like she's never going to get approved for this she's never going to get approved for weight loss surgery she's never healed this relationship with her food she has a severe food addiction and she has no willpower. They're going to need to see that she can muster up some kind of willpower to lose weight on her own. And I mean, this can be seen in her written documentation of her weigh-ins showing whether she was on track or off track. She's written, she's been off track since the 23rd of November and it's the 27th, two days after Thanksgiving. And she's managed to be so off track that she packed on 4.2 pounds and then added another pound on the 28th like it doesn't make sense am I the only one seeing that it doesn't make sense that she thinks that weight loss surgery is going to be her golden ticket it's not not if you don't follow what the doctors are going to tell you and they're going to tell you low calorie they're going to tell you high protein and guess what they're probably going to remove your gallbladder not long after having weight loss surgery because you're going to be eating a very high protein diet. I mean, at the rate she's going right now, she's going to be back to her heaviest weight by Christmas. And we'll see how real she'll be with us since she was bed bound at the heaviest weight. Will she tell us if she goes back to being bed bound again? And unable to shower to where Jade has to give bed baths and wipe her after each bathroom visit. Oh, what a time to be alive watching all of this replay out year after year with just different partners on occasion. 
We also got a little bit of a glimpse of the camera she's going to be using for Vlogmas instead of her phone, which props to her from wanting to upgrade for this special event of hers that she likes doing every year for better quality. She claims it makes her look pale because, you know, Lord forbid if she learned how to color grade her footage or how to edit the settings in her camera for lighting. She also answered her own question as to why she stopped using the camera as opposed to her phone for recording videos. Apparently, the camera is more effort for the export and editing. So that's why it takes effort. And we all know Amber is all about uh, no effort type situation type deal moments. (laughs) But that's going to be all for tonight. I hope you guys have a great remainder of your work week if you're working. Uh, and I will see you guys Saturday when we have the podcast and then we do the live later on in the night. Hopefully Liam will be joining me again, um, and be a little bit more responsive this time because he was kind of doing multiple things during the last live stream. But I thank you guys for listening. I thank you good people for subscribing. I appreciate you so much and I will see you guys Saturday. Here's another conspiracy. Ugh, you guys, it's exhausting. Aren't you exhausted? Anyone should go and have like a slew of medical issues. Like I, I don't think this type of speculation is healthy. Speculating someone's health, like I'm, you guys confused? Imagine how I was feeling. Anyway. I'm just terribly bored with all the speculation. And at the time, none of it's true. Stay mad. Here's another conspiracy. Ugh, you guys, it's exhausting. Aren't you exhausted?